What's going on, everyone? Jeremy here from The Quartering. And as the rest of the nation sits and stares at the TV to wait for very large numbers to increase by very small numbers, Hollywood has not stopped bashing the American people. That's right. Unless you entirely agree with the mainstream media's narrative as well as Hollywood, then you are a piece of garbage. You are someone to be tutted at, to be looked down upon. In fact, the liberal elite in Hollywood um, view you as garbage. They want you to watch their television shows. They want you to buy their products, but they don't want to hear your opinion. They don't want to accept that anyone could possibly think differently than a multimillionaire. And Jimmy Kimmel, Stephen Colbert, and a wide variety of other late night television hosts who all share the exact same political leanings uh, decided to bash the American people. Late night television hosts express shock. Uh, I feel like I overestimated the American people. Most of the late night TV shows had very had a critical caveat when they delivered their monologues Wednesday night. There's never been a more important time to mention that we taped this show at 5 p.m., but as of taping, the winner of the presidential election has not been determined. Of course, you're watching this at 1235 at night or maybe sometime Thursday afternoon. So if Trump won, will you please get in a time machine to come back and find an end to me? That was a general vibe for the late night comedians who, like much of the rest of the country, spent Wednesday experiencing extreme anxiety as they waited for more results to trickle in from swing states. Well, I don't know if I would call it anxiety, but uh, I suppose it's all coming down to a few states. Of course, of course. Kimmel says, I'm very happy and relieved that it looks like we're finally sending this monster back to Mar-a-Lago. But I'm also shocked that it was this close. I mean, we reunited the cast of every movie and every TV show ever made to win this election. It's unimaginable to me that half of American voters saw what this man has done to the country over the last four years. And almost half of us are apparently okay with that. Half of us want to keep it going for four more years. What more did Trump have to do to show us he's insane? I feel like I overestimated the American people and I underestimated the village people. Jimmy Fallon said, apparently a lot of voters looked at X number of cases a day and said, sure, I'll do that for four more years. James Corden, non-American, says, obviously the election was much closer than anyone had predicted. Despite a large trial for voters, there was no crashing blue wave. I mean, how did this happen? Even after Democrats got the cast of Parks and Rec to reunite over Zoom. Well, let me be very clear. We don't care about Hollywood. Only sheep do drones, absolute losers who have nothing to identify themselves with, no independent thought other than consume. They're the same people that go to midnight releases of the latest Hollywood movie. Unless it's Star Wars, then I'll, I'll let it slide. But these are the same people that endlessly buy records and, 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 and movies from people that openly hate them. You can see Jimmy Kimmel expresses disappointment with American people over Trump votes. He's not fit. It's unimaginable that nearly half of the United States voted for Trump. Here's the thing. What are these clowns going to talk about for the next four years? A lot of people think, oh, they're just going to go back to the way things were. Except, no, they won't. They will cover Trump until deep into 2021 because that's all they have. And they realize without Trump that their ratings will tank. Every single election year shows like Saturday Night Live get a very obvious boost from ratings during um, this time. And after that, a huge dip. How many people will be tuning in to the boring Trevor Noah. Trevor, Trevor, I immigrated to this country to be a millionaire, but I still hate everything about it. Noah, um, how many people would tune in every night when he's not there to reinforce their TDS? Late night show host Jimmy Kimmel was taken aback by the sheer number of Trump votes that have been tallied thus far in the 2020 election, but is exhaling at the growing prospect that Joe Biden could unseat the incumbent president. I'm very happy and relieved that it looks like this. Yes, the funny man said over the course of four years, he believes Trump did everything he did to divide the country. Well, let me correct you 
there, uh, loser Jimmy Kimmel. Late night show hosts are the ones that have done everything in their power to divide this country. Late night show hosts are the ones that make people feel like they're unwelcome, that they don't want their viewership, that they're not allowed to laugh at jokes, that they are better than half of the country. Mainstream media has divided this country more than anything ever. They live, they thrive on division. There's a reason that Fox News covers mostly right-leaning stuff. CNN and MSNBC and every other network covers left. There's a reason that there's not a news network that covers things unbiasedly because these networks not only want division, but they absolutely unequivocally need it. If anything is true, I if anything comes out of this election, that could be a silver lining. I hope that more people will wake up to the fact that Hollywood is not your friend. Hollywood sees you as a pawn to vote the way that they want. Hollywood sees you as a wallet to buy their garbage. They don't like you. They never liked you. They wouldn't say hi to you on the street. They wouldn't save you if you were drowning. All right. Hollywood does not care about the average Joe. Hollywood didn't care that tens of thousands of employees in movie theaters across the country haven't had work for a year. Hollywood didn't care that their films were uh, that their movies were filmed, you know, a stone's throw away from the Uyghur Muslim uh, concentration camps. Hollywood didn't care that most of the animations are done by, you know, people in ridiculous conditions. Hollywood doesn't care. Stop. The only reason I cover Hollywood is to remind people how stupid these people are. Next up, the news readers, because these people aren't journalists. They don't care either. You are a useful idiot to them. If CNN or Fox News or MSNBC or any of these news, ne news networks actually cared about not dividing the country, then they would have some bipartisan coverage. You can't have four straight years of orange man bad or orange man good and expect me to believe that you really care about bringing this country together. This morning, I saw all these vapid morning show hosts talking about, it's a time to heal. It's, it's No, for the last four years, you've done nothing but profit off division. You don't get to slide in on the last possible day and pretend like you cared about keeping anyone together. Jimmy Kimmel is a hack, a loser, and a just an awful, awful man. Uh, there's nothing funny about him. He's a hypocrite. This is a guy, you know, who conveniently took some time off to hide the backlash from his blackface while he still lectured the rest of us cringily on an award show by blast screaming out Black Lives Matter when Anthony Anderson, uh, you know, made him his bitch. I mean, that's essentially who Jimmy Kimmel is a vapid, uh, positionless worm that works to, uh, push the exact same narrative of just about anyone else. He continued to issue Wednesday's lining. If the election lasts more than 48 hours, seek metal atten uh, medical attention. Yes. Joe Biden is likely to win unless things uh, uh, change. But one thing that won't change is that these Hollywood losers see you as a vote and a wallet. Never forget that. I hope you enjoyed this video. We'll talk to you again real soon.